Hi, so I want to put together a how-to video on how to run an insert or, or even a stove with the catalytic converter. Um, we're in the process of getting our house ready to rent and I'm doing a how-to instruction for a number of the systems for uh, the folks that are going to rent the house out. And, and the stove here is one of them. I know in our previous home when we sold it, the new owners just had a bear of a time trying to figure out how to use um, a stove with the catalytic converter and so I thought this would be a good idea to kind of put it out there so that it would be just some public information. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from the very start of a cold stove all the way to the last fire of the night and then picking it up the next day like what do you do um, coals and and restarting and that sort of thing. This particular model is a Blaze King Ashford 25, but it doesn't matter, any catalytic converter um, insert. So what I have is the catalytic converter bypass pulled all the way out. And then I have the damper on this particular model. You turn it all the way down, um, but I have the damper all the way open there. And then as it heats up and you wanna shut the damper down, you have a, a range, so like 50% and then like 100. But when you start it out, all the way open, um, so to the big end here, and with the bypass all the way out. So we've had a full season of fires, um, but it's not perfectly clean, but the ashes have been scooped out. So this is kind of where you want it when you start the fire. You don't want a big ash bed there to start the fire on because it makes it not as effective as a heater. So these are the only acceptable items to be put into an insert. Um, I colored paper is a no-no so printed paper so cardboard the little fire starter packs are pretty good don't throw the the box in after you're done with it recycle it because it's, it's printed and then these are uh, these are fat sticks um, you'll grow to love these and then small bits of kindling um, these just happen to be split but you could use cutoffs from like the wood shop um, and then progressively size larger pieces of hardwood uh, burning softwood in these is bad because it clogs a catalytic converter and also means you have to have a chimney sweep come out uh, really before you, you start a fire every season, which you should do, but with uh, burning soft logs, you absolutely have to. Um, so this happens to be black oak. Uh, I really prefer an oak or maple or a madrone. There are a couple of different ways of doing this. A lot of people like to build a small fire on the top and let it burn up adding wood uh, but that creates a giant smoke chamber in your house and I'll, I'll show you as, as we go through this other folks really like the top-down method so they line the bottom with hardwood and then build a fire on top and let the coals trickle down and burn I think it's harder to get it lit once you do that so I ascribe to the middle burn method um, of lining the bottom with good large pieces, um, having medium sized stuff in the middle um, and then pockets so you can put your fat wood and your smaller bits and your cardboard and then lining the top also with nice spaced out hardwood, uh, big chunks. So let me light this and show you kind of what this method does and why I choose to do this in stoves with the catalytic converter. All right, now after it's lit, and you see I, I didn't use a square, just used a match. So after it's lit, what you're gonna wanna do, um, I got a good flame there. You're gonna close this door, and now the handle here, normally put it all the way down, don't do that. Close the door and just let it just sit there, and just sit there. Just like that. That flame will keep going. So one reason for this is we want to heat up the flue. Some people will light a small like uh, paper fire in here before they ever do this to help warm the flue. Um, it helps with the draft. Also, if you don't, and I did this on purpose, what happens is smoke will pour out of your fireplace and you, you don't want that. You want all of your oxygen going this way and all of your smoke going that way too. All right, when you first start it up, you're gonna get smoke out of your chimney. Uh, you know, just blackish, gray, white smoke. Um, that's normal. Again, when you first light it up and it first starts going. 
After about five minutes, uh, this is about your level of burn. So that's a good start, but, but don't rush it. So just above the damper control switch is this thermostat reading. And what that's for is actually the catalytic control bypass lever. Um, what the manual says is that they want it about halfway or a quarter of the way into the red before you push the bypass. But what I've found, as long as that needle is kissing it, then you can go ahead and push in the catalytic converter um, bypass lever. And now you might wanna leave your damper full blast for a little bit, like maybe five minutes or less um, after you push in the lever, but then you can go ahead um, and I usually like to keep it at like 60, 80%, and then at night I'll crank it all the way up. But I'll show you that in a minute. All right, we're 20 minutes in and almost ready to push that in. Let's see what the flu looks like real quick. Okay, 20 minutes in and uh, we're pretty clean. There's a little tiny touch of smoke. Um, give it another few minutes or so and even that'll disappear and it'll just be uh, the heat. Okay, it's right before uh, we push the bypass in. But as you can see with this mid-level kind of technique, I've got coals in the bottom. I've got some, some wood that is, is nice and ready for fuel. And then I've got wood on fire that's still intact that, that's burning really well and making it nice and hot in there. As a side note, um, other side, <laughs> you've got the, the fan here that you turn on to, to help uh, with the heat. It's an internal fan. But if your bypass hasn't been pushed in yet, don't turn your fan on because what that's going to do is it's going to cool the top of the firebox and make it not as efficient. So you want, you want uh, it hot enough to press in the bypass to get your catalytic converter running before you turn on your fan. So leave that off until that goes in. All right, so we're there. I'm gonna go ahead and push this bad boy in. Now, don't use your hand. Don't use your hand to pull it or push it out. It comes, like most stoves come with a tool. If not, use gloves, but for mine, push it in. Now you see when I push it in, it didn't fill with smoke. So that, that, that's a good thing. If it fills the smoke, go ahead and pull it back out. Our uh, particular fireplace tool just hangs right there beside the fireplace mm -hmm. insert. And again, it's really good for uh, the bypass. Um, you can use it for the, the damper or if you just want to open this and push a log or something, it's pretty good for a, a short per poker. All right, uh, catalytic converter is running and there's no smoke. Um, there's a little bit of heat that you can see and just that little puff, but nice and clean from the street. I mean, that's what it looks like. There's, there's nothing. And that's what you should see. We're five minutes after I pushed the bypass in and I'm going to go ahead and move the damper from here, uh, about 70%. Leave it there for a little bit. All right, we're two hours in. Um, still plenty of wood burning. It's real hot. Um, I have my passive fans running. What that does is it helps uh, push the hot air um, back into the room. Um, I've gone ahead and cranked the damper all the way closed. Well, like it's not really closed. It's like 90%, but that's as, the most that you can make it. Um, as you can see, the temperature is still really good and the bypass is in. So that should cook just like that for another four hours or so. So we'll be back. So the fire's burnt down a little bit and you have some gaps in there and you're gonna be tempted. Ooh, let's, uh, let's push this down and add a log. Uh, while you're tempted, don't do it. Don't do it. When you have active flame, do not open this bad boy. Okay, we're at about the four hour mark. And you can see it's mostly coals. That bottom row is burning pretty good. I do have some flame there. So don't open the door, not yet. So what you wanna do is you wanna, again, use the tool, pull open your bypass, and then I like to also open the damper all the way up. 
and then open the door just a little bit that way you get a lot of uh, a lot of oxygen in there cool cool all right now you're gonna put in just a couple of pieces of wood right Shut the handle all the way down. And then you can wait a minute or two, but you don't have to. Just go ahead and shut the bypass and then bring that all the way back up. Now, if you want to, if you put more than two pieces or so in, you're gonna cook yourself out of the house. I really think that once you get that good bed of coals, two pieces at a time really will keep the house nice and toasty. This is eight hours or so after I first lit the fire. Now I did add the two sticks. Let's see where we are. All right, so the window is about 500 degrees. The mantle above, 139. Let's look kind of close like, let's see. Floor is 84. Um, a piece of furniture in the room, 85. I mean, in short, like, this little fire will heat the whole house it, it truly will now you don't want to hang out like in front of the fireplace in the living room um when it's going this long if you're having like a little romantic fire my recommendation is small fire leave the uh leave the uh, catalytic converter bypass completely open and then leave it running full blast on the damper and it'll be out in a couple hours uh, and it won't get crazy hot but this is not meant for aesthetics this is this is meant to heat the house and it does a really good job at that. Um, my advice is if it's burning like this and you know, you're heating the house, uh, hang out in the kitchen, hang out downstairs, hang out in one of the bedrooms. So. All right, about 20 minutes later and I just put a couple more logs in cause it's about eight o'clock at night. So it's just after 10 o'clock and time for kind of lights out. So you do two things. One, you can bank all the coals together and just kind of let, let them cook like that. Or you can just absolutely load the uh, insert back up and let it, uh, let it burn all night. Um, it really depends on you. It depends on how you're heating. But what that means is with about 13 sticks of wood, 12, 13 sticks of wood, um, you heat the house this time from like noon until 8 a.m. solely on the insert. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to fill this up and then uh, we'll see in the morning around 8 o'clock what that looks like and then what to do from there. Now you can see um, as you just get coals, this needle has dropped below the red line. Um, that doesn't matter. You don't need to pay attention to this really except for when you first light it and let it kiss that line. Um, to activate the catalytic converter. But after that, if, as long as you have a fire going or you keep it going, that can dip below, it's okay. And this is it fully loaded up again with the damper all the way closed and the catalytic converter. And it'll go like that all night. And first thing in the morning, we'll just have coals. I'll take a look. Okay, it's about 9.30 the next morning. And I've got some coals here, still active running so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna bank these up i'm just gonna put some wood in there and uh just let it do what it does with the bypass open and the, the switch all the way open as well and just like so um it might be helpful to put a little kindling under there but um, i'm gonna leave it just like this shut the door and repeat the first steps from yesterday Keep the fire going all weekend. And the whole process starts anew. I appreciate those of you that have made it this far. Um, thanks for watching all the way. Hopefully this helps. If you have a stove that has a catalytic converter that you've never used or you're buying or renting a house with one, either insert or stove uh, freestanding, it's kind of the same thing. I would say please refer to your owner's manual. Um, this happens to be a Blaze King Ashford 25. 
but in the 21st century, you, you can find your manuals uh, on the internet. Um, this was my how-to. If you do have any questions, please feel free to, to uh, drop me a line. I'll, I'll answer as best I can. Uh, if you would, please um, like and subscribe. Um, it will really do me a solid. I do appreciate it.